beans. So we're going to make her recipe for dilly beans. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. Changing things up a bit because my husband just walked in the door and said, here, honey, here's a recipe for you. And he handed me a brand new canning cookbook by Diane Devereaux, who happens to be my favorite person in the canning world because she does a lot of testing. People, this literally has a recipe for canned pumpkin, canned squash. Um, yeah, so... I'm excited, but I turned and they have dilly beans. So we're gonna make her recipe for dilly beans with the leftover green beans. I'm gonna have to alter the recipe, Diane, a little bit because um, I don't have seven pounds. I probably have a pound, so we'll make two. But the good news is, is when I'm done with these, I'm done with green beans for at least 24 hours. Oh gosh. Okay, as with any new recipe I'm looking at over the, the book, Diane has a very interesting way of canning. She she only does the things that are absolutely necessary and she t sends her stuff out to be tested. So I trust her because she has things tested. Um, one, you only have to take the stem part off of the beans. You don't have to take the little squiggly liney thing. Love her. And two, we're raw packing everything in the jars, capping it off and then, and then cooking them. So there's no blanching involved. Oh my gosh, love her. I had a little bit of extra, you know me, I can't let anything go to waste. Little tiny jar with little tiny ends. Now to make the brine, and because I'm only doing one seventh of this recipe, this is where I'm going to tell you all, tell your kids, math is life. Do well in math and pay attention, or your struggle in life. That said, her recipe is so easy, I have already stuffed them and made the brine and poured it over, and they are in the canning pot. They are being processed right now, waiting for it to get up to pressure, and then it processes for 15 minutes, and I'll be back with you and show you the final product. Whew! That's it for the green bean harvest, though. So we're just waiting on that. They're done. Don't forget to label, and then the next day we'll wash and we'll talk about all this. So we'll talk all this over, right? Isn't that isn't that our thing? I think it's funny I did that whole video except for the last clip with a piece of dirt under my skin, under my eye. Nobody said anything. You probably were all standing there going, you have dirt under your eye. Yeah, the struggle's real. Welcome to another cost comparison where we stop and see if the dilly beans that I canned from my favorite new, brand new canning book really compares to store-bought. Price-wise and taste-wise, we already know. So let's get into it. First, this is the book that we are using. The link to this book will be in the link in my bio under the tab of all of the links of everything that I share with you. So let's get going. Diane Devereaux is the canning diva and she has an amazing way of doing things. She literally streamlines the whole canning process and makes it very economical and fast and easy for you. So what's the first thing we do? I'm going to tell you right now, this should have been, if I had a few more um, beans, it would have been a full pint. I made a partial. I put in my price comparisons as if I had filled up these jars, so it would have given me three. I think hers does a lot more, but I only did one-seventh of her recipe because I didn't have any extra beans. Yet, they're still producing. First on the list is petting the puppy so she doesn't feel left out while you and I talk. Hello, Sophie. Count with me. Check for seal, take the rings off, and check to see if they totally seal. Now we wash them. Remembering that I only did half, a, a one seventh of this batch, um, but I priced it out with everything that I used. My whole entire batch cost $1.26 to make. Green beans were in my garden, I grew them myself. So you take the 26 cents, $1.26, and you divide it out. That's 42 cents a pint, 42 cents for one of these. Always wash your jars, people. You want to get the gunk and the icky off the outside of them before you store them long term. Um, with that, $1.26, 42 cents a pint. So I took, and they're 16 ounces. So then I went on um, Amazon because I don't think they sell these in the stores. I couldn't find it at Walmart. The cheapest one I could find store-bought is $4.92. Wow. Four dollars and ninety-two cents for a cheap brand. That means it's a thirteen dollars and fifty cents savings just on these three jars that I have. That's it, just on these three jars. Um, people, I think if my husband likes these, I'm doing them again because that's a whopping savings. 
So don't forget to label. That's a good savings. Why are dilly beans so expensive? Like to purchase, done. Hmm. Just so that you know I did it. They're labeled. See, I practice what I preach. Thank you.